Welcome back to the sixth video of our tutorial series. In this episode, we will be tackling the modeling of the handle. I sincerely appreciate your support. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into it together. Let's get started. This is where we left off in the previous video. So now we will proceed to work on the handle. So we'll just go ahead and select every other piece of geometry of the toilet and we're going to hide that and then while we are in the same active layer we are going to make a uh, plane so make it something like this from the left side and keep the segments on width and length to be 4 and then convert it to editable poly now we're going to name that handle and then we are going to apply the standard material we can also make the object see-through then after that with edge selection we are going to select all of these inner edges right here and we are going to delete them by clicking only backspace instead of clicking control backspace which will delete the outer vertices if we click only backspace we are going to be left with these vertices so we have a polygon with more vertices that we can work on so just grab these vertices and just start tweaking them to fit the reference image Now we need to keep in mind that later we will connect these vertices so let's just suppose that we're going to connect this one to the one on the bottom right here so just place them like that then we can grab these three vertices and proceed to set them down on the bottom right here Then set these three vertices right here. Then we can move around the vertices so we have an equal distance from one another, something like this. Move this one up a bit and then with edge selection we are going to select these two edges right here and we are going to connect them with one segment and then just pull down the vertices to fit the reference image something like this we can also delete the edge and then we're just going to quickly tweak around and set the vertices to our liking. So let's start from these two vertices right here and let's go ahead and connect them. Let's just tweak it down a bit like this. And if we have a quad one right here, we also going to have a quad one right here. So we will have to add a vertex right here somewhere. So just make it like this. And then with the cup tool selected, we are going to cut right here. Just take this vertex and set it right here. Then you can just delete the edge with only backspace and then proceed to connect these two vertices so we also have a quad one right here 
After that we are going to proceed with connecting. So just connect these two, then these two vertices, then these two vertices. Now here we have one vertex left off, so we are going to connect the this two on the end and then we are going to move this one and add a vertex down here so you can also move this edge with uh, edge constraint now don't worry about that it will smooth out with uh, when we add more geometry then we can just proceed to move around the vertices until we set them to our liking and uh, also keep in mind as I've noticed right now keep in mind that you have uh, deselected the constraints then after you use constraints just set them to none always because it will move only on the constrained and uh, then with the cut tool we're going to cut an edge right here and we have this geometry for now so I think it looks good for now at least we can maybe move these vertices around a bit to set them to a liking something like this so it doesn't have to be a hundred percent like the reference image but just proceed to follow the image then we are, we are going to get border selection and get the whole border and while holding shift we are going to drag and extrude the border like this and then we are going to cap this side right here so I'm just trying to do something I'm just going to see if it's going to look good with inset on so just go ahead and put inset Put it somewhere of the amount of 0.5 maybe and I think that looks good so actually what are we going to do now is we're going to get this side these polygons right here select them all while holding shift you can drag and hold the selection and we're going to inset them with 0.5 amount then we're going to go ahead and delete these vertices right here I'm sorry these polygons right here and then also those polygons then we can move the pivot to this edge and we're going to apply symmetry now of course you would expect to make the symmetry on the x-axis but in this case it's going to be on Z axis because we have not reset the transform and the scale for this model so the transforms are inverted so just go ahead and set it to Z axis because we've made the object on the left and then collapse to editable poly just before you do anything check the thresholds and then convert then we're going to take this edge and delete that one we are going to grab the whole object and move it somewhere around here so we correspond it with the reference image then take both of these edges and we're going to apply a chamfer so I'm just going to go ahead and try a quad chamfer you see we're going to make the amount of about 0.5 right and now as you can see we have overlapping of the edges right here we can go ahead and try the try the standard chamfering method so go ahead and check the chamfer to try but now you can see that we don't have that overlapping it's it gives us some strange artifacts right here but with quad chamfer we have overlapping and we're still going to have to fix that thing and we'll fix it just in a minute so we're just going to get these polygons and scale them in 
So just for example, so you can see that we we have overlapping geometry and to fix that we are going to go from the side and then we're going to isolate the object take edge selection and take these edges right here now we have the edge in the center selected also so we're just going to deselect these edges the outer edges and now as you can see right here we have two edges selected so on this side and the other side right and when we are going to ring those edges we have the whole ring of edges and then we are going to collapse them and so we fix the problem now I am going to proceed to chamfer these two edges right here Just go quad chamfer with the amount of 0.1 and the tension of 0.5. Then we also are going to chamfer out this selection, so the inner selection right here and on the other side also. Just about the same amount and the same tension as we did the other two chamfers and then we are going to need to do something because we don't have a break for the chamfer on the inner side so let's just quickly convert it to editable poly and look around we can take these polygons right here and we can also inset them again so with a small amount of something like 0.1 maybe I think so just let, let's experiment a bit something like 0.1 so go ahead and type 0.1 and then click OK and then here we have vertices that have gone out of our way so in order to fix this we are going to have to select these vertices and then we are going to click on collapse to collapse them into one vertex so just go ahead and select them and click on collapse now i will try how it would look if we collapse this edge right here and then delete this one but i don't think i really like that so i think i'm going to go back so Control z a couple of times and we are going to leave it out as it is now for the inner side because it's not going to be visible we are not going to add any inset and we can leave it like that so then we can go ahead and take these middle edges and ring them and then go ahead and connect them with two segments and pull out the pinch to something like 77 so we have edges that act as a break to the outer chamfers and I think that we are pretty much done for now. So what we're going to do now is just tweak it, maybe use some lattice to move it around or FFD as it is called in Max. So go ahead and put an FFD 2x2x2 modifier. Select the control points, select the front points and just move it like here. So the handle is not straight anymore. Then we are also going to add another FFD with 3.3.3 and select the control points again. Select the middle ones and just move them up a tiny bit so we have a tiny arc on the handle something like this and then collapse to editable poly then we can also pull it out a bit something like this maybe rotate it a bit without angle snap of course so the point is to look something like this so it does touch 
the the toilet water tank but it does not penetrate it too much so then go ahead and try it out with turbo smooth see how it looks just check if you have any gaps if we also move the pivot right here maybe we can animate it to flush water if you like but for that we're going to need to edit the pivot even further so we're going to just leave it like this and i think that we are pretty much done maybe a few tweaks here and there maybe we move some vertices let's just check it how it looks from the side so we'll move this down a bit so it doesn't look so sharp here we're going to go up now we can get these vertices and with constraint on edge we can move them up towards the front and then maybe with holding shift we can add a swift loop right here Then we can go ahead and put Edit Normals modifier, Ctrl A to select all normals, click on Unify and then go ahead and collapse the object to Editable Poly. Then after that we are going to search for the Smooth modifier and apply a smoothing group of 1 and again collapse the object to Editable Poly. I think that this is pretty much it for now, so let's just go ahead and check how it looks with Turbo Smooth. I think it looks good. I think we have good topology, we have good flow of the edges. Now we can go ahead and check how it looks with all the other elements. Just go ahead and uh, rename the object to toilet handle. We'll just quickly change the edge color right here. And overall I think that the model for now, at least, it looks perfect. So let's just double check from all the sides. So just a quick warning, when you apply Turbo Smooth to all objects, be careful to not collapse the modifier because sometimes 3ds Max might get some things mixed with the undo command and it might not take you back, so you would have to go and remodel the thing or maybe just use the retopology or if you have the Turbo Reverse script. but. Uh, I would suggest you to be vigilant about it. So many of the toilets have a handle up here or maybe somewhere here. It just feels to me that this handle looks strange but that's how it was on the references so we can just tiny bit move it inside maybe something like this. So it just penetrates like a little bit inside and then i think that this is going to be it so make sure to delete the turbo smooth modifier and then check every object so we are good to go and we now have a low poly model of the toilet then you can go ahead and set the pivot to the center of every object you can go and uh, reset the transforms and the scale and then go ahead in utility step and reset the X form and then collapse the object to editable poly. 
you can also go ahead and apply an edit normals modifier so control a to select all the normals and then click on unify and that's pretty much it the modeling process may seem challenging and time consuming but it is the foundation of everything in 3d design each hurdle you overcome brings valuable knowledge and skills. Remember, without modeling, there is no creation. Embrace the dirty work as it leads to endless possibilities and growth. In the next video, we are going to work on the UV unwrapping of the model and then after that we are going to proceed to texturing and rendering out. So stay tuned guys, thank you for all the support and I will see you in the next video.